Hi everybody, and welcome to another episode of Unboxed, Watched, and Reviewed. I've been gone for a while, as some of you may have noticed, and that's because Long Dong Dave, my father, who told me he was in Behind the Green Door as a fifth grader, and that he was in a movie called Three She's and a He, he had a heart attack. Massive. It was really bad. It was really terrible. Wasn't it, Heather? It was some bullshit! It really was. Then he went into a coma. I just kept thinking, before all of this happened, the last words my dad said to me were Barbie Benton Bush shots. So I've been gone. I've been in my hometown, staying at my dad's house, taking care of his cat Donna, without internet, phone reception, cable. There, He did have a DVD player there, which uh, had a DVD in it, so that was nice. It's called Come Swapping Sluts 1. And I watched it twice. I love it. There is this girl in it who is just remarkable. She's amazing. That's all there is to it. Every time the camera would go up to her while she was being fucked, she'd look and be like, I gotta say something. So she'd go, fuck my baby pussy. Every time. Fuck my baby pussy. And it was loud, and my dad doesn't have neighbors, but I kept thinking, the neighbors are gonna hear this half a mile down the goddamn road, thinking I'm fucking a baby pussy. And I am so happy to say that Long Dong Dave had a full recovery. He's back home, probably watching slut swapping come as we speak. So with that out of the way, let's get to today's movie. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah! The World of Marion Dora. That's right, the Marion Dora box set. This features Angel's Melancholy with subtitles, Rise Nox Angst, Debris Documentar. No words for that one, and shorts. Well, I've never seen any of the shorts, so let's check out these shorts, shall we? Sounds good to me. Let's do it. You guys ready to start the shorts of Marion Dora? I know I am. Let's do it. Well, we have fucking flippers all over the place. We don't need those. Actually, we do. We do need some of those flippers. Soul Kittens Cabaret is coming out. This used to be on Netflix, and it's one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. Next to the movie Slumber Party, where murder is like sex. <laughs> Like a man, Tom. Big jock like you scream when he gets hurt. Anyway, on with Mary and Dora. Everything on this DVD is in German. Okay, so we switched to input one with our flipper. Okay, so now I have to figure out what a fucking hoof to sicken is. Uh, is that a short? This is quite confusing. Corta films. We could watch Corta films. Or dial a show. Dia show. I didn't know which one to choose. I mean, I was looking for short films. So it was either court films or dial a show. You know, seems a little obvious to me, but at the time I decided to go with dial a show. Oh, this must be behind the scenes of debris or a trailer or something. Back, back, back. How do you go back on this fucking thing? Where's the damn main menu? Top menu, please. What's this now? Oh shit, I hit resume. I hate this fucking thing. Title menu. How do I make the shit go away down there? Triangle? Circle, maybe? Oh yeah, the circle. Okay, well, let's try court. Of course it's court films. Oh, we got a lot. We got a lot. And by a lot, I mean five. Okay, well, we could watch Summer Libelily or Science. Let's just start them at the top and work our way down. Let's do Summer Libelily. Here we go. Oh, we gotta see how long this is immediately. Oh, 343, that's not bad at all. Summer Libibly opens up with a woman walking through the woods and suddenly this man just ran out and is attacking this woman. He's ripping her panties off and he just stretched them all around her body and she's trying to get away and he's just pinning her down to this music. He roughs her up a bit and stares down at her. I was gonna say, what's he gonna do, piss on her? He's pulling his pants down. He's gonna... 
He flipped her around. His pants are hanging around his ankles. It's just this long take. There's nothing cool about this, visually. It looks like Marion's just sitting in the woods taping this guy raping this woman. He just bashed her in the head. She's still kicking around. He's crawling around naked with his balls hanging down. After fucking her and killing her, he looks around and jogs off. The end. Well, that was Summer in Labibli. What about, let's do this one now. Science. Check the time. Six minutes and four. So this is VHS looking as well. Some girl just walked up to a barn. Is she gonna go kill pigs? Oh my god, she is gonna kill pigs. There's a bunch of pigs in there. What's that now, a dog? There's dogs in there. Now there's a bunch of lettuce. Oh no. There's a dog up on an operating table, and there's instruments prying it open. All these scissors, and the dog's leg twitched like it's alive. No, I don't like this. There's another dog. It looks dead as shit. No, it's not. Its tongue moved. What's that? A human cock? She just pulled that dog's cock out of its cock. What? I gotta see that again. What? She just squeezed on its penis and like a human looking dick came out. There's blood all over the floor. This poor dog is like, it's like trying to get up. Is this fake? This has got to be fake. Because this is just a dog dying. This is just a dying dog. Fun stuff, huh? So, I hope this is fake. I don't know if it's real. That's the thing with Mary and Dora movies. You question how real they are because there's so much real shit in them. You start to think that everything's real. And that's one of the great things about Mary and Dora. You're seeing people shitting for real, ripping back their toenails, cutting themselves. That makes them so much more disturbing, believing that what you're looking at is real. Now she's injecting it with a shot. This really is a dying dog. Who wants to watch that? So she just entered that building, killed a dog, and is leaving now. On to short number three. Well, so far these are just terrible. Okay, this is five minutes. It's opening up VHS footage with, like, homeless people? And then we find ourselves in this cave-like room with all these skeletons. Like, like scary ones. The creepiest fucking skeletons you could find, especially that one. That one's got a goddamn beard. This one was good. I, uh, I shouldn't say good, but it was, it was scary. That, uh, that one's got scary teeth. What's that? This is, ooh, that's scary. It's got an eye in it. That's scary. I, mean, I haven't seen fucked up shit for a while. I mean, like I said, I've been watching Soul Kittens Cabaret, which is fucked up, but this is kind of scary, isn't it? The music that accompanies this visual of these screaming skeletons is quite effective. That was scary. That was creepy. Ooh, I don't like that one. Well, that one's wearing boots from fucking Payless. Oh good, we're leaving. He's zooming up to the window. And that's it. Okay, so, so far we have rape, killing dogs, and a bunch of scary looking skeletons. What do you think the next one's gonna be about? 13 fucking minutes, opus hominis one. Like the rest of them, this one can be summed up in one word. And that word is slaughterhouse. How a fucking original. How many fucking slaughterhouses can one use to be shocking? Did you guys ever see that horror movie slaughterhouse? I never did. I never did. I just, I never liked the cover. I hated that box. I hated the guy. No, I didn't like the production company. That's it. Charter. I based what I would rent on that shit as like a fourth grader, you know? I probably missed some good stuff. Got a little candle here. I don't want to just sit here on a nice day watching cows get killed. I mean, come on. Where's the entertainment in that? Is there any? No! At least the first one had a story. A uh, woman walks in woods and gets killed. I don't really think there's gonna be any characters coming into this one. And right with the music, the cow screamed and they cut its neck. Oh, it's not completely dead. Oh, wow. Oh, just zoomed up to its eye. And he's kicking his little hooves around and he's got his big ass balls. It's gotta be dead after losing that much blood. Seeing that all these shorts could be summed up into one word, I wonder how long this review is gonna be. I guess it depends on if we go outside of the house. Maybe I can show you what it was like staying at my dad's. You guys wanna see some of that while, while I watch the cow die? Let's, let's watch. Everything's all blurry. I don't know what's going on with that. What's this stupid shit? 
This get this shirt gives me tits. Tits on my skinny fucking ass. Why do I have fucking shit bags? You know, I made a movie in this house once where I played a black pimp. <laughs> What's a password? Pink slut. No, pink bitch. That is the incorrect password. It involves a pig, I know that, and it's a degrading name for a woman. It's pussy pig whore. Now get in here. While I was there, I had some packages in the car, so I brought them in and thought, hey, we'll do some unboxings here at Long Dong Dave's. Well, here we are. But every movie I unboxed, I had already seen. We're gonna Karen it up for this one. Even when times are bad, you can Karen. Inland Empire. Goodbye, Uncle Tom. Cannibal Furry. A Serbian fucking film. Look at all these packages. You'd think we'd have something we've never seen. So there I am, off the grid, bored as shit and scared out of my mind. Human kindness isn't overflowing, Randy Newman. Not even a fucking drop of it. Worried. I can't wait till this is a flashback. Depressed. I just want to be fucking happy. Lonely. Donnie, you want to watch Cop Rock? It sucked. Anyway, so that's where I've been. They just hacked into its big ball sack. These things were getting so boring, I started going on and on about shit that had nothing to do with anything. Not even the thoughts in my head, I was just speaking. Mark Summers, Mark Summers, Mark Summers. Don't get me started on Mark Summers. Or Robin. Do not get me started on Robin. We are... Those organs looked like wet snakes. Now why would you step in it? Now it's hanging from its feet and they're cutting out its asshole. It's very gross. And now we're behind the meat counter at Fairway. So the cow wound up at Fairway. It's a twist ending. And now we've reached the final short. Or so I thought. Oh, wait a second. Don't tell me that says more. Volgande doesn't mean more, does it? Because I don't know how many more of these I can take. Let's hope it means back. Nope. Looks like I'm missing a movie about killing a pig. There are five other shorts on the DVD, but we're not going to get to those today. Christian B. is going to be the last one we watch. So there was a car accident, and now there's a corpse, and it looks real. Right away, an autopsy begins. They look like skilled surgeon's hands. And now they're cutting his fucking brain out. The face is removed and they're just scrambling it with these sharp dental looking teeth scrapers. Every once in a while, we'll see a shot of a brown haired girl crying, mourning the loss of this real victim. So I don't know if Marion was, you know, just shooting the autopsy of this young man and thought, hey, I'm gonna take this footage and make it into a little movie and have have this girl crying, that'll be really good. Using real corpses in your movies is just something that's so disturbing to me, men behind the sun. They really did just pull out a big gut. That is exactly what I thought guts were, only smaller. And, you know, lots of them. But they just pulled out a big gut. You gotta see that shit. That was a gut. But maybe it wasn't real. I don't know. It's just suddenly cut to the backside of a woman shoving three fingers into her ass. Huh. She's completely naked. It's night vision. She just bent down and put her face up to this guy's ass. It then cuts to a tombstone and... And... That's it. Alright. Christopher Rage, here I come. So what did you think of those? They were boring. They were shitty. They were gross. And I just couldn't stand them. So what do I give the first five short films of Mary and Dora on a scale of one to five? Well, I'd have to give it a zero. I did not like those at all. I'll never watch it again. I will never watch any of these shorts again. There was nothing cool. There was nothing like, oh, fuck. It was nothing. It, boring. Horrible. I hated them. I mean, I guess the one with the skeletons, you know, that was okay, but still, a zero means don't watch, so it's not worth it. The skeletons aren't worth it. They're not that great. So, thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Fuck my baby pussy! And so on.